Welcome to our study in the book of Psalms. <clears throat> this uh, Psalms is the national songbook of Israel, and this is a special uh, introductory lesson to the Ascension songs or Psalms. There are 15 of them, and they are numbers 120 through 134 in our Bibles. So we're just coming off of the longest psalm and longest chapter in the Bible, Psalm 119, where we broke it up into 11 uh, lessons uh, that uh, was two each of the 22 letters of the Hebrew alphabet. Now, before we look at Psalm 120 and the following 14 Psalms, uh, the Ascension Psalms, I think it's important that we get a background of them. And this lesson is not a long lesson, but I believe it's a, a very important one. So this is the Ascension Songs, the introduction to them. Here's our overall outline. And in fact, it's the Bible outline of the book of Psalms. So here we go. And uh, the Ascension Psalms means ascension or the going up. Sometimes you'll find that phrase in the Bible, and they went up. Uh, it's not talking that they went north, like we might think, and we talk that way sometimes. <clears throat> but it's talking not going north, it's talking like elevation. So climbing up to the city of Jerusalem. So what are the Ascension Psalms? All right, we've already told you there are Psalms 120 through 134. There are 15 of them. Literally in the Hebrew, it just says they call them the ascents. Uh, we tend to put a flowery title to them in English, but they, the Jews today would even know that 120 through 134 are the ascent Psalms, and they understand that they were sung uh, going up towards Jerusalem. So key words to watch throughout all of these, all 15 of them, um, because it is about going to Jerusalem. Uh, Zion is another word for Jerusalem. Mount Zion is where Jerusalem's built upon. Uh, peace. We are to pray for the peace of Israel. So Israel comes up a little ahead of myself. Uh, temple. And then, amidst all of these what rather neutral or good words, leading to the positive or, or great hope and stuff, the word adversity, There's, there is adversity through all of this. And so we see God's hand with Israel, and we see how the people, they sang and rejoiced, and they did things as they were headed for their feasts, in Jerusalem, but they would sing about the adversity they'd been through too. We'll cover that when we get to them. So when were they sung? Well, for, they first of all were sung by the Hebrews when they were returning from the Babylonian captivity. And that was under the Persian Empire. And uh, that uh, allowed Zerubbabel to come back and to build the temple. And uh, later on, uh, Nehemiah would come and rebuild the walls, but this uh, the 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 Ascension Psalms started back with the Babylonian captive captives coming home. Um, they would be sung by the Hebrews or the Jews as they journeyed to Jerusalem yearly, and there were three feasts, and I'll share them with you in a minute that they celebrated that they were to come to Jerusalem to celebrate them. And so to help with the journey along the way, they traveled in groups of people, they would sing through these songs. And then they were sung more often by the Levites, the priests climbing the steps of the temple. There are 15 steps going up and they would stop at the first one and sing the psalm, the song, and they'd go to the next step and sing it. And they'd sing right through them before they got to the top. So that would take a, a bit of time, uh, but they would do that. And that's what they needed to do. Now, there were three routes that brought uh, the Jews back in groups. And here is a little bit of a map of them. You could take a look at that. 
Uh, one caused them, the red one caused them to cross over the Jordan River in low areas and then come back up to Jericho and then take the Jericho Road into Jerusalem. The other one from the north, uh, if you were in north central or up at Capernaum and you wanted to come just pretty much the straight route, you would do this. And notice they try to hit cities along the way for safety, food, rest, um, nighttime lodging. And then there'd be what we would think of the coastal area that they would come down that route and then cut across. And here's some of them in Jerusalem. And I mentioned the 15 steps. I pointed the arrow uh, to the temple steps. And if you count them, there are 15 of them there. And then there's a picture of them ascending or coming in the groups that they were in and coming up to Jerusalem. Now, why were they sung? Uh, they were written, these psalms were written for the use of the people when going up to Jerusalem for their festival days. This, I mentioned, they did it for three times a year. And here are the feasts that they would celebrate. Feast of the Unleavened Bread, that's Passover. And then what is called the Feast of Weeks, or Shabbat. Uh, they would they would celebrate that, and they would come up for that. And then there's what is called the Feast of Booths. They would build little shelters and live in them, and that is called Sukkot. So these are the three feasts they would celebrate. So who wrote all of these? Not one person. David appears to be the author of four. Solomon wrote one, and that's because it tells us that in Psalm 127. And then the other 10 are just anonymous and probably composed after the captivity, after they perhaps were headed home or they knew they were headed home. So that's the wrap up of, of the 15 of where that they came from. So I want to thank you for watching. Here's my source helps. And uh, I would encourage you to read Psalm 120. Most of these are not long. But think of them and people walking in large groups and just starting to sing them because they all had music with them. And they would sing the psalm that we're reading as they marched along or as they got up to, to Jerusalem, headed there and saw the city. Or maybe envision a priest climbing the, the stairs to the temple and his first step this one was the one he'd be singing, 120. I invite you to check my, uh, my YouTube station channel. Um, check my playlist. You'll find all of the Psalms up through 119 now done. And I'm trying to add one a week. Uh, also, there's over 500 videos from book studies and the, uh, the books of the Bible studies topical, uh, Americana, and then just some fun things, Bible trivia quizzes. So check it out, and I'll thank you for it. Lord, thank you for, for your word. Thank you for the joy it brings us. And Lord, I, I pray as we study these 15 Psalms, may they bring the joy and the hope of the Lord that it brought to your people when they sang it decades, centuries ago, and as, as, as they sing it today because they are still used. So we thank you for your word and how timeless it is and uh, how it can bless our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.